We have to bleep that? Guy right, pulls him into the ring. I think I'm bluffing here. Here we go. You gotta be kidding me. He's going for the suplex, but Morrow stops him. Reverend Ash Taylor holding the gun show up. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> what a misfire there. No. Reverend hits the concrete floor. That was righteous justice. Gun show Lariat! And that is hey, a winner! The Gun Show! The Gun Show with a huge victory, putting the righteous path down, finally, once and for all. Time to make the world recognize we ain't playing, yo. Off the top, smashing folk, hitting with the Gun Show. Everybody gon' flip. And that's off the rip. We are Memphis Wrestling. Now you know who you messing with. Five star, that's the name. Maria's here to change the game. M dub on my chest. Got me slamming all you lame. You ain't know you messing with the real dealer. From the super kicking, body slamming show stealer. Started out in the M Memphis, Tennessee. Watching wrestling every Saturday on TV. It's only the beginning. Now it's time to play. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a special edition of Memphis Wrestling. Welcome to Championship Saturday. I am Dustin Starr alongside my broadcast tag team partner, Terrence Ward, and every single championship in Memphis Wrestling is on the line today, and then some. I was fixing to say, we've also got another external championship on the line as Game Changer Wrestling World Champion, Blake Christian, defends his title against Zay Washington. Oh yeah. I cannot wait, ladies and gentlemen, let's not waste any time. We're absolutely loaded right here today. It is bell time. Here we go, women's championship on the line. Cassandra Golden, who turned her back on her best friend Mackenzie Morgan for an opportunity at the Memphis Wrestling Women's Championship. And today, they go head to head after signing the contract a couple of weeks back and Cassandra attacking MKZ with the pin. And here comes the champ and thank goodness She's looking healthy. Just barely missed the eye, I hear, on the injury report from McKenzie Morgan, and it's not all fun and games here today. It's all about that, the Memphis Wrestling Women's Championship. Now let's head down to the ring for the official championship introduction with Terrence Wall. The following contest is our opening bout set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. And it is for the Memphis Wrestling Women's Championship! Oh yeah! Introducing first, the challenger from Little Rock, Arkansas. She is the golden one, Cassandra Golden! Cassandra Golden put the championship before friendship and that's why we're here today. And introducing next, her opponent from the good, 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 great city. city. She is the reigning Defending Memphis Wrestling Women's Champion, MKC Mackenzie Morgan. Mackenzie Morgan, the Memphis Wrestling Women's Champion, set to defend that title once again here today. And there's referee Ron Justice hoisting up the prestigious championship. Who walks away today, Championship Saturday, as the Women's Champion? Joining me back here at the broadcast position is Terrence Ward, who's feeling the effects of that high five from MKZ. Dizzy yeah, Morgan she and like a man. Cassandra Golden both look very focused. Bell rings and we are underway. There's a Fez press all over Cassandra, especially after what she did to her a couple of weeks back, attacking her with that ballpoint pin. And hold on, wait a second, fans. We need to get a camera over here. We've got company at the at desk. ringside. Nixie XS has, has stepped out here, and it looks like she might be making notes on a pad. You know what, though? 
That's smart. If you're wanting a championship opportunity, this is the best time to get notes. Inside the squared circle, Cassandra Golden with a big cross body and it hits flush. There is a little bit more to the story. Nixie XS did appear on Monday Night Raw several weeks back in the draft room with Nick Aldis in the SmackDown draft room. Yeah, another familiar name of Memphis wrestling fans for sure. Talent scout, so to speak. It looks like Nixie XS out here taking notes, scouting the champ or possibly the new champ. Anything can happen here in Memphis wrestling and it looks like Cassandra Golden going for that signature hip attack. And it was missed. Two count there. Rocky cover. Going for that boot to the midsection. Cassandra Golden. Belly, to belly. belly. Yeah. If she hits it, it could be over. Not happening today. Reversed into a big spine buster and down goes Mackenzie Morgan. Fans, we've got the internet championship on the line here today. We've got the Game Changer Wrestling World title on the line today. There's a cover. Almost crowned a new champion. God. The tag team titles will be on the line. Who's Big John Dalton's partner going to be? I've got a good guess, but I'm not going to say it. Just based off what Buff has said in the last couple of weeks. Plus, the big man, the Memphis Heritage Champion, K. Toomer, defends today in the main event against Herzog. But right now, the women's title is on the line, and Cassandra Golden is having her way. Nixie XS taking notes. Women exchanging what appears to be some hits. Big in Zaguri and down goes Cassandra Golden. Watching on is Nixie XS making notes, scouting what could be a new champion perhaps or MKZ retaining. Both competitors getting to their feet. Looks like Mackenzie Morgan is headed to the top rope. MKZ is going to have to get up there a little quicker than that. It is a high risk maneuver and Cassandra Golden on her feet hitting the Watch ropes down yeah. back first on that top turnbuckle pad setting up for maybe a power bomb look at this oh, this is gonna end bad oh wait Big a minute face buster the cover and a kick out I thought that my was it my god very 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 near fall from referee Ron Justice MKZ nearly retained. Shoves her down. These two are getting at it now. Wait a minute. Cassandra Golden trying to get her up on her shoulders. Mackenzie Morgan. Belly to belly. She hit it. And that is it. MKZ gets it done. Here is your winner and still Memphis Wrestling Women's Champion, MKZ Mackenzie. Morgan! Let's take a look back real quick at the action on Instant Replay brought to you by Kapow Comics in Sherwood, Arkansas. 501-834-5769, Kapow Comics. And that's exactly what that belly-to-belly -belly suplex was. And there she is, retaining the Memphis Wrestling Women's Championship fans. Don't you dare go away. Internet Championship is on the line, and it's next. A message from the Sonic Department of Research and Delicious Mint. Behold, the all-new Groovy Fries. Designed to grab more sauce between each Groovy Groove. You've never seen a fry like this before, and if you have, no you haven't. New Groovy Fries and Groovy Sauce. Live free. Eat Sonic. You wanna live free? We aren't just here to see patients. We're here to help people walk out our doors. Whether it's life-saving trauma care, advancing oncology treatment, or helping patients reclaim their independence, we're always here for you. Regional One Health, specializing in tomorrows. Welcome back to ringside. As we saw, Mackenzie Morgan retains the Memphis Wrestling Women's Championship. But what the heck was up with Nixie XS taking notes at ringside? I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see what was on that pad. I know that the camera crew was trying to find a way to get us a sneak peek what, what list she was making, what notes she was making. But I guess we'll find out in the coming weeks what Nixie XS is up to. And does it have something to do with the Memphis Wrestling Women's Championship? It's Championship Saturday. The internet title will be decided coming up next. And this thing's been going for just a while now. Tim Bozzi, a two-time internet champion, lost the title at Super Bout to Aaron Roberts, the egg-sucking dog. And this thing's been going for a minute. Fans, the internet championship match is coming up next. He is an egg-sucking dog. 
Memphis Wrestling fans, next week it's Championship Saturday, and I want to do what no man has ever done before, and that's win the Memphis Wrestling Internet Championship for a third time. Now you see Aaron, next week, I'm going to do three things. I'm going to boss flex you, I'm going to take your title, and I'm going to prove you're nothing more than an egg-sucking dog. And specifically for you, Aaron, well, I changed up my training method. And that's picking up and throwing down human bodies. So Aaron, I'll see you next week. And I'll prove why I am second to So it looks like today, Aaron, you got to do something you've done a thousand times. And that's to beat the boss. You know what, Justin? Justin. I appreciate everything you do for me, but I think I need to let Tim Bosby know something today. Tim Bosby, this has gotten personal. You talk about winning my title for the third time. Son, I'm the problem child Aaron Roberts. I've already beat you once for this title. I beat you twice for this title, and I'm going to beat you three times, son. Just, just in case you didn't know, you got a problem, boy. Comes the challenger, two-time internet champion, huge pro wrestling prospect, number one in the state of Tennessee in amateur wrestling. It's the boss, Tim Bosby, and he is second to none. And today, he's got another opportunity at the Memphis Wrestling Internet Championship against Aaron Roberts, the 420 pounder, and this is sure to be a spectacular contest. And here he comes. And fans, I want to apologize. I called him an egg-sucking dog, but that's what all the fans around ringside here at the Wrestle Center chant at him every time. He's the problem child, the 420 pounder, Aaron Roberts, along with Justin Case, and as you can see, snatching a sign away from the fan at ringside before tearing it up and throwing it over here at the desk. You've got to be kidding me. Fans, let's head to the ring for the official championship introduction with Terrence Ward. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. And it is for the Memphis Wrestling Internet Championship. Introducing first, the challenger from Cordova, Tennessee, weighing in at 222 pounds, second to none, the boss, Tim Bosby. The boss, looking to become the first three-time champ. And introducing champ. next, his opponent, accompanied to the ring by Justin Case. From the Dirty Berg, weighing in at 420 pounds, he is the reigning, defending, Memphis Wrestling Internet Champion, the problem child, Aaron Roberts. And you could hear the capacity crowd here at Championship Saturday. They do not like Aaron Roberts. You could hear they're all chanting egg sucking dogs. So I didn't make it up. There's referee Ron Justice in charge of the action inside the ring. And that is what it's all about. The prestigious Memphis Wrestling internet championship belt and joining me back here at the broadcast position is Terrence Ward and I told you that they call him an egg sucking dog. Uh, I don't think they know what that means. Fans are chanting Bosby now. Referee Ron Justice says ring the bell. We are underway. Look at the size of that individual. Now, don't let it fool you. He might be 420 pounds, but he is agile. He can move for a big man. And I think we're about to see that firsthand. Collar elbow tie up. Big collar and elbow tie up there. Look at the Boz already going for a Boz Plex. Switches. If listen, if you're new to wrestling, I hate to cut you off, or new to Memphis wrestling, this is not, it's not uncommon for us to have seen Tim Bosby give a Bosplex to Aaron Roberts. Oh, yes. Give credit where credit's due there. It has happened. It's not easy by any means, but the Boz can do it, especially with the fans behind him. Collar and elbow tie up. 
shoves the boss down once again. That's that 420 pound power. Big shot blocked. Here comes the boss with some forearms of his own. Backdrop over the top to the floor. Lands on the apron, luckily. Look at the agility of the boss who is 6'5". Big flying body press, down goes Aaron Roberts. And a big drop kick. And a Ooh. drop kick of his own. God, did you see that reverberate through, through Tim Bosby's body? Holy cow, I told you he's an athletic big man. 420 pounds hitting a drop kick on the boss. Yeah, you're not going to find a big man in Memphis wrestling that's not athletic in some form or fashion. Very, very true. Now choking on the rope here. Tim Bosby's in big trouble, especially after that 420 pound drop kick. Now just absolutely crushing the boss in the corner. This is a huge match for Tim Bosby, as it is for Aaron Roberts. Who wants it more? I don't know, we, we saw the messages delivered oh, look at this. for these two. Going for the Bosplex once again, we did indeed. Ooh. Shotgun style drop kick. Yeah, did, kicked him where the sun don't shine, that's for sure. Tornado DDT, and down goes Aaron Roberts. Yeah, very smart on behalf of Aaron Roberts, taking the opportunity to leave the ring, collect himself. He is the champ. Yep, and uh, Tim Bosby not wasting any time to meet him outside. Big shot to the gut. Yes, you do have to win the title inside Whoa. the square. Circle big, belly to back suplex on the hardest part of the ring. Fans, don't you dare go away. Internet championship continues. Join us for Memphis Wrestling Live. Saturday, June 22nd, it's wrestling night at AutoZone Park with the Memphis Redbirds featuring the stars of Memphis Wrestling and the real one, Enzo. Sunday, June 23rd, TNA wrestling star AJ Francis returns to Memphis Wrestling. Plus, former WWE star, the real one, Enzo. Sunday, June 30th, watch AEW Forbidden Door with us at Dave & Buster's in Memphis. It's free to watch. Sunday, July 14th, don't miss Memphis Wrestling Live. You never know who might show up. All tickets are on sale now. Get yours right now at memphiswrestling.tv. The Memphis Wrestling Fan of the Week is sponsored by Orion Federal Credit Union. Check out all the ways that Orion is redefining banking at orionfcu.com. Comics, comics, kapow comics! It's the place for comic books, retro games, classic memorabilia, and more. Kapow Comics, 501-834-5769. We just gotta go hard. Uh, I go the hardest. I, go the hardest. I bring the pain. Not what she used to. It's all part of the game. Yeah, I just gotta go. Welcome back to Memphis Wrestling, just in time for this pinfall. And a near fall, almost crowned a new Memphis Wrestling Internet Champion. I am Dustin Starr alongside Terrence Ward and welcome to Championship Saturday. If you're just joining us, women's title has already been decided. MKC with a huge victory to retain her title. Now the Internet Championship's on the line and it looks like A-Rob is setting up for a major problem bomb. If Aaron Roberts would have taken the time during the break to get in the ring and pin him, he might have retained his title a little earlier. He is going to absolutely crush the oh. boss, but the feet come off. It looked like landed right in the face. And a square in the jaw for sure. Big forearm shot. The boss trying to mount a comeback here. You know, historically looking back, we have to remember that Tim Bosby at one point in the previous weeks was There's wearing some, some wrappings around his midsection favoring that uh, that injury, but it seems like he's 100% since that injury. Big shot to the corner, here we go again. What a big spear! But Aaron Roberts hasn't forgot. Splits the boss in half. Near fall once again! Aaron Roberts in total shock. Somehow, some way, the boss kicks out. What is this? We've seen Aaron Roberts hit these devastating power bombs. 
Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ankle lock. Can he tap out the big man? Look at the look on Aaron Roberts' face. Look at the look on Tim Bosby's face. That's a lot of pent-up aggression and anger from the last few months. Pulls him to the field. center. He grapevines the leg. Aaron Roberts has nowhere to go. He's oh, tapping wait out. Wait a second. The referee on the outside. Just in case has pulled the referee out of the ring and he didn't see the tap. How smart, how smart. Wait, did you see that? Did you see that, Terrence? I did, he's got the championship title in hand. Looked like a foreign object. What a shot with a belt. Here we go. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, Boz. Not like this. <sighs> We've got a winner, folks. Here is your winner, and still, Memphis Wrestling Internet Champion, the problem child, Aaron Roberts. Aaron Roberts picks up the huge victory, and I can't believe it, he retains the title. Let's take a look back at the action on Instant Replay, brought to you by Memphis Wrestling Live. Get your tickets, Memphis Wrestling Dot TV. What are you laughing at, Terrence? I'm, I'm just laughing at the fact that anybody predicted something else happening in this bout today. Look at him limping, folks. We still have more championship matches. GCW Championship is on the line coming up next. But first, we got to hear from Kirk Swiss. Check it out. Over the last few years, I've been watching and I've been studying. See, I used to watch Memphis Wrestling in the heyday of Jerry Lawler. I used to watch with guys like Bill Dundee, the greatest of the greats. But somewhere along the line, Memphis lost its way. Somewhere along the line, Memphis stopped being Memphis. So what I'm here to do is I brought all the great people, all the great wrestlers and all the great skill, and I have come to make Memphis great again. And that's exactly what I plan on doing. And that is my mission, is to make Memphis great again. I'm Kirk Swiss, and I approve this message. Just like I know, just like these people know, just like they know, I'm one of the best wrestlers in the world. And I challenge you for the GCW heavyweight title. Zay Dub. Look, man, this was never meant to be personal, but I see it's gotten a little bit personal. You got two options. Option A, you crumble, you fall, you break, and you disappear from all that hate. Or B, now option B is a little bit of a lonely road. You lose friends, family, in this case, brothers. But you know what you do when championships welcome back to Greenside, and the chosen one zay washington has a match of a lifetime he has been the memphis wrestling internet champion he has been the memphis wrestling tag team champion both on several occasions and today he has an opportunity to become a world champion well there's no problem if you had a gun shoot him in the head and here he comes, the Game Changer Wrestling World Champion. Successfully defended that title against Dan Housen just a couple of weeks back. Headed to Japan for one of the most prestigious light heavyweight tournaments or junior heavyweight tournaments in the world. Blake Christian is here to defend the GCW World title. And let's head down to the ring for the official championship introductions with Terrence Wall. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. And it is for the GCW World Championship. Oh yeah. Introducing first, the challenger from Trenton, Tennessee, weighing in at 205 pounds, the chosen one, say, Washington! Huge victory a couple of weeks back over Mike Anthony. Gave him some much needed momentum. And introducing next, his opponent from Jackson, Tennessee. Weighing it at 190 pounds, he is the reigning 
defending Game Changer Wrestling World Champion, All Heat Blake Christian. Formerly All Heart, now All Heat. And I'll tell you what, nobody inside the Wrestle Center is cheering for Blake Christian. Blake Christian, All Heat. He better bring the heat today because Zay Washington is absolutely on fire. And there is the GCW World title right here being defended on Memphis Wrestling. Referee David Knight, he's our senior official. He says, ring the bell and we are underway. And rejoining me here at the Brad Ca broadcast, blah, 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 broadcast position is Terrence Ward. I don't think and we can do a mulligan this. on TV, but. Look at this, let's do it again. We'll do it live. You ride it. <laughs> look at this, oh my goodness. All right, I'm just going to sit back and watch it. Yeah, no commentary needed here. These two guys know each other very well. They were friends. Grew up around the Jackson area. You said Blake Christian's from Jackson. Trenton, Tennessee's not too far from there. Big shout out to our audience on WBBJ in Jackson, Tennessee. Maybe a handshake. Oh, Ooh, maybe not. Not the hand gesture I thought he was going to do. Big shot. Thank goodness that was the one he gave. Wheelbarrow to a big arm drag. Down goes Blake Christian. Blake Christian got a lot to lose today, not just He's the title, feet. but Ooh. big power slam. Wait a minute. Near fall, two count in the early going. Not just a lot on the line here for Blake Christian. It's not just the title, but can you imagine losing your world championship title in Memphis wrestling? It's a cover. I think Brett Lauderdale would be very happy with that. Ooh. Not. But it could happen. The chosen one, Zay Washington, as I've stated, has a championship pedigree here in Memphis Wrestling. Yes, he does. Wait a minute, Blake Christian. He's got an issue here. No, come on. Hiding behind the referee. Smart tactic. And then tosses Zay to the floor. Here we go. Big Ooh. drop kick. Down goes Zay Washington. Look at the athletic ability of Blake Christian that's making why, it look easy. Yep, that's why he's the over the champion. top oh, God to the heaven. floor and lands on his feet. Fans, the Game Changer World Title Match continues. A message from the Sonic Department of Research and Delicious Mint. Behold, the all-new Groovy Fries. Designed to grab more sauce between each groovy groove. You've never seen a fry like this before, and if you have, no you haven't. New Groovy Fries and Groovy Sauce. Live free. Eat Sonic. You wanna live free? The Memphis Wrestling Fan of the Week is sponsored by Orion Federal Credit Union. Check out all the ways that Orion is redefining banking at orionfcu.com. We aren't just here to see patients. We're here to help people walk out our doors, whether it's life-saving trauma care, advancing oncology treatment, or helping patients reclaim their independence. We're always here for you. Regional One Health, specializing in tomorrows. Saturday, June 22nd is Wrestling Night at AutoZone Park with the Memphis Redbirds, featuring the stars of Memphis Wrestling and the real one, Enzo. Get your tickets right now at memphiswrestling.tv. Our next free watch party at David Buster's is AEW Forbidden Door. Join us Sunday, June 30th. It's free to watch. Plus, you'll get a free power card. That's David Buster's Memphis. Welcome back to Memphis Wrestling. Blake Christian trying to ground Zay Washington as now he has the momentum in control in this GCW World title match. I'm Dustin Starr alongside Terrence Ward calling the action here on Championship Saturday, and here comes the chosen one. This is not our first foreign title defense here in Memphis Wrestling. We've also seen previously the Ring of Honor World title, Jonathan Gresham, Nick Aldis, right here at the Wrestle Center, too. Near fall there. We've seen the reality of wrestling heavyweight championship, the Texas heavyweight championship here. We've had the NWA Women's World Champion here, Camille. Yes, sir. Check that out in the archives, youtube.com slash at Memphis Wrestling. And what a move. Say Washington. You can see him looking over that shoulder, trying right. to anticipate that hit to maybe take away some of the bruteness of that. Good luck. Got to get something up, get his teeth knocked out. Just All the way to the top rope. Big elbow drop. Blake Christian thought wow. he had it. Blake Christian is definitely uh, 
a little bit of shock here, and I think some of us are as well. We, we know Zay Washington here in Memphis Wrestling has his accolades, has his experience, has the talent, the athleticism, not shortchanging him there, but being a realist, it's a lot different winning an internet title, it's a lot different winning a tag title than a world championship. Exactly right, Game Changer Wrestling, world title recognized worldwide. Also Memphis Wrestling as well. You can see Game Changer Wrestling on pay-per-view, also on fight, along with Memphis Wrestling, and back and forth, tick for tack. Zay Washington is keeping in this thing. Nice uh, counter here by Blake. Clarence Christian thought he was going for the cover. Looks like he might. Unique offensive combo from Blake Christian. Reminds me of Aikido. He is using his own momentum. you got to be kidding me. Springboard 450. Almost got him. Was that two? Referee senior official David Knight said it was this close. That was a two count. There's a reason why he wears the blue. David Knight, our senior official, says it was a two count, but very, very close. Can Zay Washington do the unthinkable? Just think of what this would do for his career to capture the GCW title. And like you said, foreign territory, so to speak. Yeah. Like well, it's, he doesn't have the home field advantage. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Pinning combination. Almost got him there. God, oh, did you hear that impact? Jeez. Blake Christian headed to the top rope once again. Nobody home. Oh, my God. Big was, shot. I'm surprised the referee didn't give him a stern uh, what for for that close fit. Oh, my goodness. Big power bomb. Barely kicks out. Oh my and we've seen God. Zay put opponents away with this. Too there we go. Close to the there ropes. we go. There's that. There's that ring presence of Blake Christian, knowing exactly where he is. It might have knocked the taste out of his mouth that kick from Zay, but it didn't knock any sense out because he knew exactly where he was at. Zay Washington looking to do his 450 splash. He's won numerous championships with that as well. Oh, wait, look at look at Blake Christian. Blake is begging off, saying, "Please don't do it." Zay's on the top rope. I think this is strictly psychological in nature. Big super kick. Blake needs Nails, to cover. Nailed Zay with it. Oh my goodness, devastating. Nearly a curb stomp, but with the knee. Zay is out. And we've got a winner. Here is your winner, and still, GCW World Champion, All Heat Boy. Christian! All Heat Blake Christian retains the GCW World Championship here today on Championship Saturday. And coming up next, the tag team titles are on the line and boy is there a story here. Who is gonna be Big John Dalton's tag team partner? Stick around and we're gonna find out. Just like you lost at Super Bowl, cause you're a big, fat loser. So what's up with the two guys? Boom! Boom <laughs> back, we're here at Memphis Wrestling! If you two goofballs have got what it takes to pick on somebody a little more your size, two on two for the belts. Chance, we accept! They accept! We accept! Oh, meanwhile, 300 pounds on the top! Big splash, Pete! Big GG! And that's it! it! I can't believe what we've just witnessed! Buff, you're not really fit to compete. The bad news that I have is you guys are gonna have to relinquish the titles. You got two weeks to find a partner and you can compete for the titles again. As soon as you said that, I've got it. Hey, I've got somebody for us, I guarantee it. Welcome back to Ringside. You saw the story develop and unfold throughout the weeks and the highlights just a moment ago. And these guys are none too pleased. It's Lord Gaston here, along with Sir Matthew. They feel like that they have should have never lost the tag team titles, especially if Buff isn't cleared to defend those titles. But today, 
Buff said he has the perfect tag team partner for Big John Dalton. Let's see if they can recapture the tag team goal. And here comes Big John Dalton and Buff Daddy Bagwell. Who's the partner gonna be? And wait, wait a second. Starting to clap? I'll do it, all right. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, returning to Memphis after many, many years. It's Buff Bagwell's former tag team partner from the American Males. It's Scotty Riggs. Fans, don't you dare go away. Big John Dalton and Scotty Riggs playing for the Memphis Wrestling Tag Team titles when we return. Stay with us. Scotty Riggs. Join us for Memphis Wrestling Live. Saturday, June 22nd, it's Wrestling Night at AutoZone Park with the Memphis Redbirds featuring the stars of Memphis Wrestling and the real one, Enzo. Sunday, June 23rd, TNA Wrestling star AJ Francis returns to Memphis Wrestling plus former WWE star, the real one, Enzo. Sunday, June 30th, watch AEW Forbidden Door with us at Dave & Buster's in Memphis. It's free to watch. Sunday, July 14th, don't miss Memphis Wrestling Live. You never know who might show up. All tickets are on sale now. Get yours right now at memphiswrestling.tv. Can't make it to the shows, but still want signed photos, posters, action figures, and more? Shop the official Memphis Wrestling eBay store at memphiswrestling.tv. Hey, Memphis Wrestling! Yeah. How you doing? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Memphis Wrestling. Tag Team Action is coming up next for the Memphis Wrestling Tag Team Titles. Let's head down to the ring for the official championship introductions with Terrence Ward. The following contest is set for one fall, and it is for the Memphis Wrestling Tag Team Championship. Introducing first, it is the team of Sir Matthew and Lord Gaston. These guys, anybody but these guys. Oof. And introducing next, their opponents, accompanied to the ring by Buck the Stuff Bagwell. It is the team of Scotty Riggs and the baby face beast, Big John Dalton. Who would have ever thought we'd see the return of Scotty Riggs? He has not been in Memphis since USWA back in the 90s, perhaps even the 80s. Got a really good interview with Scotty Riggs at grindcitymedia.com slash archives or podcast. You can check it out, Grind City Wrestling, and on YouTube. Caught up with Scotty Riggs. He was super excited about coming here. But little did we know that Scotty Riggs is tagging with Big John Dalton. Can Scotty Riggs and Big John Dalton become tag team champions? Hey, listen, I have the full confidence in the former tag team champions, Matt and Gaston, retaining or winning back these tag team titles. No offense to the legend Scotty Riggs, but Scotty Riggs has not been in Memphis wrestling in decades. That is exactly right, but Big John Dalton has been offered the opportunity to recapture those tag team titles, just like Ray Ray Sanders did. Because as you know, we cannot have a fill-in in a championship match. That's, that's true. Titles were relinquished. King Cobra, Michael, they were here a couple of weeks back. Said you got two weeks to find a partner, and oh boy did he ever. And it's Scotty Riggs. Modified hip toss there by Scotty Riggs. Big what a drop, drop kick. kick. Look at Riggs. He's looking good. Maybe I spoke too soon. Scotty Riggs. Fresh off dark side of the ring, making his return to pro wrestling, and he is looking awesome. So I think all of us could only hope that we look that way when we get his age. Oh, man. Fans are chanting BJD, and there's the tag. Here comes the baby-faced beast, the future Hall of Famer. We saw him all week long training here at the Wrestle Center with Buff Bagwell. I think we even saw Buff show Big John Dalton a new hold. A yeah. big hold. You can see 
Buff, Buff Bagwell there at ringside watching on. Big back body drop from Big John Dalton, and these guys have been bullying Big John Dalton Ooh. for the longest time. Speaking of bullying, like, don't get me wrong, I'm giving credit to, to Storybook and, and Matt, but did you see the video? We talked about it previously. They were a little upset. A little upset? <laughs> I would say a little disheveled. Oh, yeah, a little, that's a little the word. crying. Well, we got to remember our audience. We need to keep it in layman's Look terms. Look at that. He got caught. Big shot. Down goes Sir Matthew, and now Lord Gaston taking over as Scotty Riggs doesn't like what he sees. Very smart. And the choke on the floor behind the referee's back. Well, you would think Scotty Riggs would have the veteran knowledge of stop screwing around with the referee, get back in your corner, so that way the, the underhanded attacks, if you will, won't happen. Well, but having been in the ring in the same situation myself, it is very hard to control your emotions, especially when you see what's happening on the other side of the ring. You always want to help your partner, even if it's at a detriment to them sometimes. But you're exactly right, Scotty Riggs, on the apron and you could see clawing away at the face of Big John Dalton. Scotty Riggs, an arm extended. Still Matt to come. Yeah. Sorry, Sorry, excuse me, still to come. You have the Memphis Heritage Championship match. Last time we saw Kay Toomer, he was being wore out by Barnabas the Ringmaster and Herzog. They go one on one coming up in our main event. But right now the tag team titles will be decided they are up in the air, vacant. Big double close on from Big John Dalton. All three men are down. Scotty Riggs is in the corner trying to get the crowd pumped up behind them to get Big John Dalton that, that energy he needs to push to that corner. Buff Bagwell cheering, getting the people behind Big John Dalton. There's a big tag to Scotty Riggs and here he comes, big shot. Knuckle sandwiches for everybody. Yeah, those closed fists. I'm surprised senior official David Knight hasn't uh, called him out on that a few times. Big slam and another one. A lot on the line here. Scotty Riggs says he wants to be a Memphis Wrestling Tag Champion. You know, it makes me wonder. You mentioned he re-debuted in pro wrestling. This actually would be a pretty cool accolade for him to have the Memphis Wrestling Tag Team title belt around his waist. Points to Buff Bagwell. Fisherman suplex here. Broken up by Sir Matthew. That could have very well been it. Now Riggs needs a tag. Big John Dalton got the energy, the second wind, if you will. There's the tag. Here comes Big John Dalton. Dalton's on fire now. Big jabs and a big shot down goes Sir Matthew. Lord Gaston's not going to like what's next. And it's a big sidewalk slam. Matthew once again, but here comes Scotty Riggs. Now they're on the floor. Referee David Knight trying to restore some order. Meanwhile, Big John Dalton's pointing to the rope. Wait a second. Whoa, 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 Hold whoa. on. Wait Who, a minute. What is this? Is that? Oh, my goodness. Steel chair to the it, back. Who was that? It's the goddess of the night. That is Nick. That's Nick. And that's it. You've got to be kidding me. Here are your winners and new Memphis Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Storybook, Prince Gaston, and Sir Matthew. All thanks to Nix, the goddess of the night. She's back, and we've got new Tag Team Champions. You've got to be kidding me. The queen has returned to her throne. Fans, we've still got a huge main event to come for the Memphis Heritage Championship, but right now the celebration ensues. We've got new Memphis Wrestling Tag Team Champions, and it looks like the Knicks Network is back together. Main, of, main event's coming up next, Terrence. And she's proving why she's the queen. Comics, comics, kapow comics! It's the place for comic books, retro games, classic memorabilia, and more. Kapow Comics, 501-834-5769. Saturday, June 22nd is Wrestling Night at AutoZone Park with the Memphis Redbirds, featuring the stars of Memphis Wrestling and the real one, Enzo. Get your tickets right now at memphiswrestling.tv.
Sunday, June 23rd, AJ Francis and real one Enzo returns to Memphis Wrestling. Meet them both at our VIP experience along with the stars of Memphis Wrestling. Reserve your seat right now at memphiswrestling.tv. So check this out, man. I ain't gonna take up too much of y'all time. I do want to say this though. Holding this championship, I carry this with pride. I went through hell to get this title. And I ain't ducking nobody. So look, I understand some people don't like it. My belly a little big. Time might be a little wide, but that don't change the fact that when I'm in that ring, I'm every bit of a bad man. And I know some of y'all heard that before. I understand this is target on my back. Of your eternal damnation has arrived. He is Herzog! Look at the size of this guy! You've got to be kidding me! Hellacious fight! And finally here in Memphis and not huge chair shot! event time here on Memphis Wrestling. You saw it just a moment ago. The attack on Kay Toomer from the newest member of the circus and it looks like they are all here today. Those are the twins of Salem on your left and right and in the middle is Maurice the Strong. Meanwhile, Herzog is headed to the ring to go head up with the master of fat jitsu, the Memphis Heritage Champion, K. Toomer. Look at this guy, who's he fooling? Deceivingly huge, and I know that sounds weird, but as soon as this man reveals himself, he stands 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, and there they are. The circus led by Barnabas, the ringmaster. And here he comes, walking with a purpose. The big man, the master of fat jitsu, the 387 pounder, the Memphis Heritage Champion, K. Toomer. And I have a feeling Terrence doesn't have a lot of time. So let's head down to the ring for the official championship introduction. The following contest is our main event. Schedule with television time remaining, and it is for the Memphis Heritage Championship! Introducing first, the cha Oh, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, Mizarks of all ages, Can you call me? Barnabas the Ringmaster oh so proudly presents being accompanied to the ring by the Twins of Salem and Maurice the strong, he is K. Tumor's inescapable fate. He is the red plague of destruction, suffering, pain, and death. And he is the latest addition to my traveling curiosities and abnormalities. Your next. Memphis Heritage Champion, Jeez. representing the circus, he is Herzog! Look at the size of Herzog. And Look introducing next, and introducing next, his opponent! Go ahead, Terrence. From Little Rock, Arkansas, weighing in at 387 pounds, he is the reigning Defending Memphis Heritage Champion, the master of Fajitsu, K. Toomer. K. Toomer. Take a look at that man's face. He means business, and that is what it's all about. The Memphis Heritage Championship that has been eluding the circus and Barnabas the ringmaster. Bell rings, and now we're underway, and this is just going to be a slugfest. Can't imagine these guys taking very long. 
with throwing shots like that. And rejoining me here at the broadcast position is Terrence Ward. And there is a handful of eyeballs from Herzog, the red plague of destruction. Where, what sewer pond did they get him out of? It looked like he traveled a long way to take this butt kicking from K. Toomer. The big man can move. Do you see him stand straight up? I don't know how tall the guy is. He's got to be 6'5", 6'6", maybe even taller. And look at this. Right, Both twins of Salem holding the legs of K. Toomer. And down he goes. You don't see K. Toomer back flat on the mat very often. No. But today you've got a bunch of characters all around the ring along with Herzog inside the ring. Herzog is taking it to the Memphis Heritage Champion. A lot of psychological warfare has taken place over the last few weeks between the circus and the master of Fat Jitsu. This is our main event on Championship Saturday. Oh, wait a minute. Herzog shoving the referee there. That's not Better a smart Watch move. out, he'll get disqualified in a heartbeat and he surely won't go home with the title. Oh my goodness! 387 pound choke slam. Down goes Toomer. Two. Referee David Knight, our senior official, says it was a two count, not a three. You can see K. Toomer's face. He was in absolute shock that he got lifted up. Probably could call the FAA for an airspace violation there. Here comes Toomer, though, back on the offense. Blocking the strikes. Big German Ooh. suplex from K. Toomer. K. Toomer setting up here. The Herzog is fighting to try to stay in control. Look at the power of K. Toomer. Seismic toss. This could be it. And it is. K. Toomer with minute. the victory, but before you can even bell, ring the bell, here comes Maurice and the Twins of Salem all over K. Toomer. Referee, senior official David Knight calling for some help to try to get these guys out of the ring here and off K. Security. Toomer. You see security in the background. I would not advise getting in that ring. Here comes the referees as well. Wait, wait a, minute, a wait, wait, second. Wait, wait, wait. Here comes the gun show with no a steel theory. chair in hand. Oh my God. He swung that chair so hard <laughs> that he broke it. Fans, the odds are a little bit more even. The gun show, he wants the Memphis Heritage Championship, but he's here out of respect for K. Toomer. What's the matter, guys? Get back in there, will you? And the stare down fans, stay with us next week to see what happens next. K. Toomer and the Gun Show standing tall against the circus. I am Dustin Starr, he's Terrence Ward, and this has been Championship Saturday. Now we can bang if you wanna bang.